under the computer. All right. I think uh, you can record it on your computer as well. All right. Uh, Vance Stevens is the founder of Webheads in Action on the internet, editor for Tessel EJ, hosts the podcast series Learning Together with almost 500 episodes and serves TESOL Cal IS, Call IS, Electronic Village Online as coordinator and session moderator. He's the editorial board member of Call Journal. He received the 2019 Call Research Conference Lifetime Achievement Award and Mentimeter is an app both for online polling with visualizations of results in an appealing variety of formats, but also a tool for creating side presentations where interaction becomes a part of the presentation. And Vance, I'm gonna let you take it from here. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Let's see, make sure the screen cam is working, uh, the, the screen share is working. I heard something a moment ago, but it looks like it's okay. So um, let's see, okay. There we go, we have a shared screen, I believe. Let me get the text chat down here so I can see that. Okay, I'm just moving things around on the screen here. Okay, uh, I'm here with, uh, with Bobby, do you want to show your webcam? Bobby's gonna. Bobby's my wife. She's. I. When we're giving presentations together, I refer to her as my beautiful assistant. So she's going to put things in the text chat every now and then. Okay. So anyhow, um, I'm doing a presentation on Mentimeter, and uh, I've got a URL for it here. So what I when I give presentations, I always write them out in advance. And then uh, I give, if, if there's a slideshow, I do that as well for the slides. Uh, but basically this one I just wrote out uh, like this. So if you go to, I, I think Bobby's gonna put that in the text chat, that link. And anyway, it's uh, tinyurl.com slash golf 2020 Vance. So uh, Yes, Bobby put it in the text chat. There you go. So you can click on that. Now, what that will do is we'll, well, I'll show you what it will give you. I'll try to go quickly through this because actually you don't need to follow this very much. Oh, there I am. Okay, so this is the TESOL Golf Tools of the Trade. Uh, by the way, uh, another thing I like to show people is I'm, uh, I do a podcast series, the Learning Together. Put that in the text chat too, if you like. Um, so, uh, this is a series, learningtogether.net is something that I uh, started about 10 years ago. And uh, right now, well, last week we did episode 495. So this is episode 496, because when I give a presentation, I, I make it a part of my Learning Together series. So, um, and I, when I do these presentations, I always give the date, which is the 24th of October today, 2020. And, um, this is Learning Together episode 496. And in addition to what I'm doing here for uh, TESOL Golf. Okay, so uh, back to my presentation. I, I produced this document, which you can go to, you can, it'll be there forever. Uh, it has a navigation component to it. So if you want to uh, say after the presentation, let's we'll see what happens then after the presentation. Uh, right now, if you want to read about this presentation, you can go to that first link, but that will disappear tomorrow. And afterwards, it will be archived at that learningtogether.net. So there's also in my document, there's navigation back and forth. So it's an easy document to get around. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm talking about Mentimeter. Mentimeter is a free uh, polling tool, but actually it's a slideshow tool. I'm going to show it to you. I'm not going to talk much about it. It's, but I can show it to you uh, more easily than I can talk about it, but I'll just to show you what's in the document. Um, there's a, a, you can see that it's a freemium tool. So um, you can have up to two questions and five uh, question, five quiz types. It has questions, questions and quizzes and also normal slides. 
and you can have uh, two questions on a free account. Uh, but th uh, that's two interactive slides. But uh, y y you'll have to upgrade if you want more than that. Um, however, the nice thing about it is that in your presentations and your two present your two slides can be chosen from any of the slides that Mentimeter will let you create. We'll look at those in a moment in the app itself. And if you're starting up with M Mentimeter, you can get uh, video tutorials. There's some places you can go. Mentimeter itself has a how-to site. And uh, it took me a while to find the ellipses over here on my presentation. So I'll show you that as we get going. Um, so anyhow, and that's all about what you find there. So uh, on this demonstration today, we're going to visit this uh, menti.com and you enter the code 1898754. Bobby will put that in the text chat. And uh, or you can, if you're very quick, you can go to this QR code, but you don't really need it because if you go to menti.com, there's also a, a direct URL, Bobby, if you want to give them that. So we'll leave those in the text chat when Bobby's got that there. There we go. Looks like, yep, that's it. Okay, there's, that should be the direct link. So you have those in the text chat now. So without further ado, I'll pop over to Mentimeter. And uh, if you go to mentimeter.com, um, it first of all, your first thing is to start an account. You start an account and it will have a blue button there that says, make a presentation. Well, okay, so you can do that. You can click there. Once you've clicked there, then when you come back to this place and you're logged in, you'll find your presentations there. So here are a few presentations that I've made. Uh, I made a demo. I made this golf t sol presentation. I, the other ones I was fooling around with. But anyway, let me show this demo because uh, without messing up with my presentation. Oh, goodness, let's see. That's big. It is big. Okay, so let's see if I think I can reduce that. There we go. It's back to the right screen. Okay. Um, as you see, I've got two. Uh, oh, okay. Well, what I've done, I've got is. Uh, uh, basically two slides. This slide is a quiz slide, but anyway, when you um, when you set up something like a quiz, I just happened to have that there when I was playing around with it, um, you can put answers, uh, you can select what's correct and what's not, your options, you can time your quiz, um, you can uh, uh, faster answers, get more points, you can set that, and you can play music, but you know, I don't know if I, let me uh, make the screen sharing again because I forgot to click in the sound. There we go, share computer sound, there we are. Okay, resuming the screen share now. Okay, so now then you can hear this great music that they have with their quizzes. So uh, here's the first one. Oh, okay. And the third one. Okay, I found that so annoying over Zoom that in the quiz, quiz I'm gonna show you, I didn't put it, but I just wanted to play those little things for you. Okay, so that's uh, one of the types, but they, they have all these different types of multiple, sorry, all these other types of interactive slides. There are six of them. And when you mouse over them, you see over here what they look like. So there's multiple choice, word clouds, we're going to do these two today, uh, plus a quiz. Uh, Open-ended and scales. You can have people draw, uh, you know, give degrees, Likert scales, but they can drag the scales. Uh, ranking and questions and answer. Question and answer is pretty straightforward. You ask a question, people can put in their responses. Ranking, you just, I'm not sure how it works exactly. Uh, some of the other ones have options, like scales, for example. I click on scales. Uh, I can come down here and I can see that there's sliding scales and also a spider chart, if you're interested in that kind of thing. And uh, going back to type again, let's see, multiple choice has different kinds. Uh, let me select it. Okay, then, okay, you have four different layouts. You can have bars, you can have a donut, if you like donuts, or if you prefer, you're really hungry, you can have pie, or you have dots. So. 
uh, various ways you can get uh, information from people and visualize it. And then the last one that has, uh, if you ask op an open-ended question, it's kind of like Padlet. People can post their answers there, or you can take answers one by one, they, they change, or you can have a flowing grid. So uh, as answer, if you have a lot of people in a class, you know, you can take not enough to put them on screen, they can, the answers will rotate as people write them in. So um, I think that's pretty much what I wanted to say about the demo. Let me see, go back to my home. Each one of these uh, things has a, an ellipse. The ellipse, it took me a while to find the ellipse. I, I had to look at some tutorials for that, you know, in doubt, read the manual or listen to it these days. Uh, so you can present using the ellipse by the, any presentation. You can open Mintimote. Mintimote lets you run your presentation on your computer, on your handheld, your, uh, your uh, smartphone. So what that does is it lets you walk away from the podium and run Mentimeter. Um, you can export your results, which is very important. Uh, if I have a little time, I'll show you how that's done at the end of the presentation. Um, what, th what that is, is that if you want to change a presentation and it's already got data in it, if, you, if you've used a presentation, you might want to do two things. You might want to reuse it, in which case you're going to have to reset it. You're going to have to zero all the data. You're, or you might uh, want to edit it. And if you want to edit it, again, you have to clear it of data. So in the only way you can get the data down off your presentation is to export it. Um, the free one, you can only get a PDF. And then they have these uh, voting links here. So the link, that's one of the links we gave you, a direct link to the, uh, to the uh, voting. You can also download a QR code. And from my side, I'm uh, going to be playing, uh, displaying that one. And there's, you can also embed these on uh, another screen. Okay, so uh, back to, let's see, how can I get back? Oh, close that. Okay, so this is your dashboard. And I'm going to, first of all, is everybody, let me see, let me see something in the chat. Is anybody, is, are, are people in the presentation? Does anybody need more time or you want to tell me about that? Where is the presentation here? I think I, I've got to mouse over. Hang on, I'm looking for the chat. Okay, where is it? Um, Huh? It can't be a full screen with the chat. Yeah, I'm not in full screen. It must be over here. Oh, no, that's not it either. Hmm, okay. Uh, oh, here it is. I found it. Okay. So, um, Kahoot doesn't work in PowerPoint. It is quizzes. Okay. Yes. All right. So, anyway, well, we'll find out who's in the quiz or not because what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it. So, I hope that you're all there. Um, that's where you should be. You should be at menti.com. Uh, have that number written in and you, or you can go just directly to that link, or if you're really quick, you can shoot the QR code before I move off it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the presentation now. Isn't this exciting? So I'm going to present. Here it comes. Okay. So the first question is, what do you already know about Mentimeter? And this is just a kind of question, since I'm presenting on it, I can find out what you already know. How many of you Oh, haven't heard about it before, or you've heard about it before and haven't used it yet, or you've participated in polls, but you haven't really created one yet, or you can create your own Menti presentations. Um, now then, if I scroll, uh, move my mouse down to the bottom, I can uh, open this for editing. So I'm going to open voting now, open it for voting. I meant. Okay, so it should be uh, where you can answer the question. And as you answer, we're going to see, here we go. Someone, this is the first time, okay. One, oh, someone has heard about it but never used it before. A couple of people, first time, okay, so it's fine. This, is, this will be new. It'll help me to uh, gauge what I'm talking about here. Okay, so as I can see, I, I could vote here. Let me vote. Okay, this is my vote. All right. So obviously, I'm, I'm able to create Menti presentations. Um, all right, so is that it? Going once, twice? OK, anybody copy, paste the link there? OK, yes, thank you, Bobby, beautiful assistant. 
Okay. Mentimeter is um, Mentimeter is, is is a slideshow. You know, you can actually do a slideshow and you can put the interactive slides in there. And, and I like the the visuals. And we'll see. I only get two interactive slides plus a quiz, and we only have uh, 20 minutes for these presentations or 30 as it turns out. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and close the voting so I can move on. All right, the voting is now closed. And uh, let's see, okay, that's, that's what it looks like. So um, to move on, what we're going to do, by the way, now is take a quiz. I hope you're ready for the quiz. Okay, um, I think Jose would like this. All right, he likes to quiz his students. Okay, so uh, moving on to the next question. Your mentee should move on to the next question. This is a quiz. Oh, we have all these people in the room, okay? So when I press the enter key, or if I move if I mouse down to the bottom, when I start the countdown, the countdown will start. And I suppose we have, oh, here's one more, one more person wants to join us, Mr. Volcano. Okay, anybody else? When, oh boy, other people are joining. All right, now this, is, this is a quiz, by the way. You can get a leaderboard or not. Leaderboard is optional. You can put your name in or not. You can put whatever name you like to call yourself. Uh, with my own students, I always try to get them to use their own names. Um, so I, okay, there we go. So Banana has joined us. All right, some people are still coming in. So, okay, you sure? This is a quiz, you know? Some people don't like quizzes. Okay, I'm going to start the countdown. Okay, faster answers get more points. I said it that way. You probably saw that. So this is the countdown. Now on your phone, you'll see the questions. Okay, the questions are, Mentimeter is completely free, oh, which is true. One of these is true. Not all of them are true. And, the, and the, you have 36 seconds to answer. You can use all available slide types in any free presentation. Is that true? If you want over five slides and two quiz questions, you will need to upgrade. Which of those is true? Okay. 22 seconds, 18 seconds. I don't think anybody's answered yet. I don't know what we do if we don't get any answers. Bobby, you want to help test? Can you answer? Okay, what, what's happened? Oh, three. Something stuck. Which of the following is correct? Okay. Um, ah, okay. Ah, yes. It somehow got stuck, but people were answering the questions. Okay. All right. We have two very intelligent people here. Uh, Mentimeter is not completely free. It's a freemium tool. So if you want the whole schmear, if you want to go beyond two slides, like I'm doing right now, you have to upgrade. Uh, another word for pay. Uh, if you want five, or if you want two slides and five quiz questions, then you need to upgrade. So you get two slides. And but nice thing is you can use the two slides, all of the slides available in any of those two slide presentations. Okay, uh, that quiz is now over. It's timed out. So I'm going to move on to the next question. The very last question is, oh, and by, oh, wait a minute, not moving on. The leaderboard is coming up. Um, okay, well, hmm, okay. Min Min P, one, yay, Min Min P, okay. I know some teachers don't like to use leaderboards, but uh, I find them motivating for students in certain contexts. Okay, so I'm going on to the last slide now. Um, <laughs> Jose says, do I want to quiz my students? Well, I just, yeah, I don't know, you know, you're watching carefully that they're doing things in the correct way well, I meant by, you know, checking that they're not using notes and that sort of thing. <laughs> okay, that's all I meant. Uh, so I'm going to the last question. The last question will create a word cloud. So when you see the interface, Write uh, one. You can answer. You can give more than one word. It's kind of nice to fill this up, you know. So, uh, what do you feel about Mentimeter, or this presentation, or we can spread it out to these TESOL Golf professional development events? What's your impression? Give us some words: useful, excellent, excellent, intrigued, interesting, fun, motivated. Okay, that's how you feel: motivated, intrigued. Um, okay. 
Um, shall we keep going here? Let's see. Um, I'll put in a word. Let's see. Where's the word? Hmm. I'm having trouble on, on an iPad, you know, it's poking around. And, okay. Oh, we're waiting for other people. Okay. All right. Okay, so basically you get the idea. The more people you have, the more answers you have, the more, uh, it, it, a lot of people found them interesting. We know that because that, as you know, in word clouds, those, uh, those answers get really big. The more people who use that word, that word gets larger. Analysis, I like that, that's a nice one. Okay, so, um, all right, I'm going to close this down now. Let's see, I'm gonna, any last minutes? Okay, yeah, some people are coming in, loving it. I like that, loving that answer too. Methodology, that's great, new ideas. Okay, so time now to harvest the results. So, well, they're still coming in, okay. Mm, all right, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close it down. Uh, okay. Voting is closed now. All right. So what do we do now? Now, in your app, you need to exit it somehow. I'm not sure. I don't remember. We, we discovered that if you don't exit it, then it tries to come back into the same presentation. It's probably not that important. The important thing is that I exit from this one. So I'll press escape. There we go. Okay. I pressed escape. What can I do now? Um, I want to harvest these results. So I go back here and remember in my little ellipses here, until you find the ellipses, you don't have any idea what to do with this. So I'm going to export these results. And I have to upgrade if I want an Excel file. I don't really need an Excel file. I'm waiting for the PDF to be created here. Here we go. Uh, download the PDF file. Here we are. So this, this one I'll post on my archive at learningtogether.net. So here's what we found out, that uh, what do we know about Mentimeter, which is true, and we got a leaderboard, and oh boy, Bobby's, Bobby's been, she cheats a little bit too, actually. Anyway, okay, so uh, very good, min p, min, min p. Um, and these are some of the words we got in the word crowd. So uh, let me show you one more thing, and that is that when I went to reuse the presentation, uh, if I go back to the presentation, here it is right here. Okay, so uh, there's a big upgrade button there. I don't wanna push that. I go back to my presentations and if I, to, uh, I had to uh, search for how to do this because it wasn't intuitive either, but to reset your presentation, you have to go to any one slide. You find any one slide and at that, point, you get this little blue, once you've got data in their presentation, this blue thing appears. And you can download the results there if you want. And you can also reset the results. I can reset the results for all the slides. Okay, so now I've used this presentation for this one. If I want to do this presentation again, I can do that. And also, I didn't show you, but I can now change, uh, I can now change things here, but I wasn't, I wouldn't have been able to change anything until I zero that. Okay. Um, anything I missed? I called it Mentimeter the whole time. <laughs> okay. That's it then. Uh, thank you very much. I'm ready for your questions. Thank you very much, um, Vance, for a very interesting um, presentation. It's a very cool uh, tool. Um, a couple of people at the very beginning, they had questions about how similar this tool is to other um, tools like... Um, I'm so, can, you re can you restate that? I didn't hear it exactly. I just thank you for your presentation, uh, Vance. It's really interesting. The tool itself is very uh, cool. At the very beginning of your presentation, a couple of people had questions. They were comparing and contrasting it to um, other tools such as Kahoot and quizzes. But as the time um, uh, passed and you explained it, 
I, I guess the, the, the questions are are answered already. You you already explained the difference between um, this tool and other tools. Um, I think people were interacting with you and they, they liked it. No specific question, but if you want to go back to the first person who asked how similar or different uh, Mentimeter um, compared to Kahoot and Quiz Wizard. Quizzes, and you uh -huh. Well, uh, Kahoot is kind of restrictive in what you can do with it. Uh, it's very popular. I, I like the, um, when, when you run it in a classroom and you play the music, it's, uh, and, and actually you can do it online, you know. Uh, Mike Kintris has um, presentations on how he's done it online. He plays it online. And um, so, yeah, it's, a, it's an effective tool, but I find personally, uh, I mean, students demand it, but, you know, I kind of wonder what they're really getting from that. Well, th this tool is not really for playing a game with the students on 10 things you know about whatever the topic is. It's more about, it's more uh, kind of actually getting information from the students. So you could, and because you have quizzes, you could you could build in quizzes if you want, but uh, um, I guess quizzes is probably, if you're quizzing students and you get all these different formats, uh, you, some people are, using that for their online classes. They're talking about that as an assessment tool. I don't know what you think about that. Um, I don't see Mentimeter as being a, an assessment tool, really. I think it's more uh, something that you can use in presentation or you can use uh, to sort of find out how a class is feeling or, uh, you know, you can, you, can, you can use it in a more surgical way to during a class, uh, you can sort of pop over to their to their mentee. Um, whereas Kahoot, you kind of takes over the whole class. You know, you, uh, quizzes is something you'd probably dedicate a certain amount of time for. Also, things like Soc Socrative and uh, tools like that that uh, also do quizzes. So when I'm using those in class, I'll I'll do them for a whole period. But um, I, and I can't really imagine doing. Uh, making a whole slideshow with Menti. Although I suppose it could work. I really haven't tried actually. I mean, I, I usually use Google Slides or PowerPoint and, or upload, make a PowerPoint, upload it to Google Slides. So um, they're all different. They all have their, their certain affordances. They're all useful in certain contexts. Right. So one question, actually a couple of questions. One is about prices of the full access to Kahoot, the upgrade and everything. Price. Another question is, um, when this is asking if, so are you saying that you do not advise for people to use um, Mentimeter for formative assessment, or do you? Formative, yes, sure. Uh, formative meaning to, no, I'm not, uh, yeah, okay, well, yeah, I wasn't, uh, I mean, I, I think in the context where I'm hearing quizzes, uh, wh wh where I'm hearing, you know, people are worried about online, they, they're going quickly, and especially in the emergency remote teaching phase, they were looking for something to replace assessments. They, they, assessing online was a challenge, and they were mooting quizzes, which kind of surprised me because, uh, well, if you had more, if, if you were able to do Moodle or something like that, um, you could probably find better tools or, or Canvas or, um, but uh, that, that takes, you know, assessments as we know is, is uh, kind of, you know, it's, it's very important to do it in a secure way. I don't know if, uh, I don't see Mentimeter as fitting that, uh, you know, uh, how would you say, high, a, a high stakes, high stakes assessment. I wouldn't, I don't see it as that. I don't see quizzes like that either, but I think some people might be able to use it. And especially if you pay for it, I really don't know. I'm a, I, I do everything for free these days. I'm retired. I just kind of, you know, share with people. <laughs> so I don't, I, I've never been very much into paying for things. I, I would like to explore things you can do for free because I think most teachers need that kind of a tool. Um, and especially if you, if you use something in your institution that someone has paid for, and then you, when you leave that institution, you're quite likely to lose everything. Um, 
So I think the tools that you have control over that you can use within their limitations for free and then take your account somewhere else with you are, are of a certain usefulness. At least those are the ones that I explore most. Okay, great. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Okay, um, thank you. Vance, thank you very much for accepting our invitation for uh, such an interesting presentation. Uh, it's always nice to, to see you and to, to learn about all these small little uh, tools that are very useful for the future. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye-bye.